This bone right here is directly influencing your facial asymmetries and nobody is talking about it. This is called your sphenoid and it sits directly behind your upper jaw bone or your maxilla. This bone has a direct influence on the position of your jaw and your eye sockets. So if it were to be turned, let's say to the right and down on the left, then that would be represented likely within your face. If your upper jaw was turned to the right, then your lower jaw would look like it has the relative appearance of being off to the left. There isn't one magical exercise you can do that's going to fix all of this, but here's one thing you can do to influence the position of your jaw, and by product of that, also your sphenoid. Lay on your back with a neck support that allows your chin to be directly, passively pointed up at the ceiling. If my lower jaw was facing left and I wanted it to go relatively to the right, I'd place two fingers on the front of my right chin right here. Very gently, I would protrude my chin forward, and off to the right side. I wouldn't actually get my jaw to move to the right, but that intention is going to activate muscles on the left side of my upper jaw. I would hold that for an isometric for about five sets of 10 seconds. This is a very gentle exercise, just two to three out of 10 intensity.